Hey, what's going on, everyone? And yeah, I am back. Uh, the main reason why I've been gone for so long is because, well, I've been trying to keep up with college, and I'm actually graduating uh, in a few weeks. So yeah, it's been quite busy for myself. I was able to make time for you today to be able to give you this LEGO review. So yeah, this is the LEGO Star Wars 501st Legion Clone Troopers. Uh, set number 75280 with 285 pieces and it retailed for $30. It comes with six minifigures and two uh, vehicles. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first minifigure that we have right here is a 501st clone trooper and he comes with printing on the legs and also dual printing on the torso but not on the headpiece and it is quite a new headpiece right here for the clone trooper and it's a lot more accurate to what they actually look like instead of some of the older versions of it and yeah they also have this brand new type of printing for the clone trooper headpiece and yeah there's that figure and pretty much all three of these are the same right here except for this one this is a 501st jetpack trooper as you can see right here and he has the same face as uh, all the other clone troopers in this set but he does have different printing on the torso and I think yeah on the back as well and he comes with this nice uh, dark, like navy blue um, jetpack, as you can see right here. And yeah, there is that figure. And it comes with two uh, regular battle droids, as you can see right here. Yeah, not much to it, just regular battle droids that they've been re releasing since, I think, the beginning when uh, Lego Star Wars happened. Uh, but yeah, let's go into the actual vehicles themselves. So, this is a Bark Speeder. I believe that's what it is called. Yes, it is called a Bark Speeder, but yeah. It does not have much going for it. One sec. Just need to do something. There we go. There we go. And, yeah, there's not much to it. There is stud shooters on the front, but you can be able to easily take them off and replace them with a, uh, a 1 by 2 stud, as you can see right there. Yeah, I don't really like the stud shooters, but you can easily remove them. And as you can see, there's not much else to it. There is stickers on the back side here, but that is pretty much it for that. And... What is this called? I s well, it's a, it's a clone, it's a clone scout walker, I believe. I'll pro I'll probably be wrong. You can correct me on the name in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, here is this figure, as you can see right here. Ah, this vehicle, man, I am just screwing up today. Uh, but yeah. It is pretty much the exact same as the one from the 20th anniversary set. But the main difference is that there is no actual uh, barrel on the front. As you can see right here, it's just a stud shooter. But you can be able to easily remove it. Yeah, let me just take this off for you. Man, that's hard to get off. There we go. And pretty much you can just replace it with your own uh, barrel on the front if you have that piece for it. Uh, but yeah, there's not much else to it. There is uh, stickers on the front right there as you can see here, here, and here, and also right there if you can see it. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this. And it is a stud shooter like I said right here. And you can be able to shoot it out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this set. And I don't really want to show the other figures because, well, 
for one they are literally the exact same except for this one which gets a sniper instead of a regular blaster and for the instruction booklet as you can see right here it shows quite a bit of the somewhat newer and somewhat older lego star wars sets that they released within the past two years uh, but yeah, the ones I have, I have this one, I know that for sure. And I'm going to try and review that by next week, hopefully. And I do have this one, I know that for a fact. I reviewed it quite a bit ago. Um, Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I have this one, and I have that one. Yeah, I think that's it. And I remember when they showed off this, which I still think it's hilarious. They were going to release in 2020. And it's 2021. Like, mid-2021. I really hope we get that game soon. Uh, but yeah, and here is the box art, as you can see right here. I'll flip this around. Never seen a droid and put his hands up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this set. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more great content. And I will talk to you all later. Dark Shadow out.